All right, hey there, guys. It's Metro, and we have returned. Another part coming up. No spec leveling on the hunter, but with nomad leveling, leather working focus. So let's get to it. Last episode, we got to 40. Just did a, a kind of a refresh of the series. It's been a long time since we played this character, but we're back to it, trying to get to 48. Then we're going to go do Shadowlands. That'll be its own part. And we're going to get to uh, probably 49, I guess. I don't, I don't exactly know how far we're going to get. But we need to make sure we don't get to 50. I've never actually tried this, but I really hope I'm not going to screw myself out. But I'm 99% sure that this will work. Uh, I think you can go to Chromie Time still at 49, even if you've entered Shadowlands. I mean, I kind of don't see why you wouldn't be able to. So we're going to figure that out together. And that will be the end of the series. Uh, we also have some more crafting to do. Uh, let's go ahead and get the situation that we've been using here back together but yeah so we also have some more crafting to do so we're going to finish up the zone get as much rep with the scenario circle as possible I, I hope to get honored i think we can if not i don't know what we'll do but yeah we're friendly already so i, I can imagine we get honored right that'd be kind of ridiculous not to get a not to get honored but we should be able to buy a fair amount of patterns we just got to figure that out too which is harder than it looks there's some uh it's in like a, a town that's like in it's like all ghosts. So we have to kill a bunch of ghosts, and then we'd be able to talk to the trainer. I think I did that a couple episodes ago. Uh, but okay, so we have the lost satchel, which is down here. I also want to get to 45 as fast as possible. Hopefully this, probably not today, but soon, uh, because I want to test out that final row of towns. We're not going to ever get to 50 on this character. So I'm never going to check out the final row of talents. But there is Barrage on that talent row, which, you know, is a multi-spec option. So I'm not going to say that it's definitely going to happen, but it's a possibility. Okay, we have to, like, talk to these guys. So I remember correctly. God, it's a lot of dialogue. And I think this is, like, an auto-turn-in quest. Yeah, you're the auto turn in noise. I don't know how you how you even do that. Don't think you do. I have to open it this way. Into the maw of madness. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go get that. Oh, there's also other quests. Oh yeah, these things. Hmm. Okay, this would be interesting. We also need to get this satchel up here quickly. So we'll get this, and then we got four quests to do. And then we're pretty much done with the zone. I mean, I know there's the... Uh... I know there's the dude, the Twilight Prophet stuff, but... Uh... You are in combat. Not anymore. Oh, wow, that's done already? Jeez. It's downloading these maps. 10 gig downloaded in like 10 minutes, not even. My internet has greatly improved. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I know where to go, but we're going to find out together. We're definitely going to need... Oh, that's why is that on the screen? Uh, we're definitely going to need camouflage on the bars because we don't have a heat keybind at all. Okay, what are we actually doing? Silithid brain. I'm sure there's going to be tons of kills on the way in, so let's not even worry about it. Let's just actually, let's just stay mounted as long as we can. I don't know how it's going to work, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh-oh, stealth mob. I think there's like a rare here, and actually that might be the one in Ungoro. See, I don't actually know. There's like a bunch of these. I guess it's this one, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we got our stealth mob. Oh, two stealth mobs. What's happened? My trap missed? Oh, it was not. It, like, evaded out, I guess. It was too far. I'm 
So I think we use Binding Shot on the pole. The problem is it doesn't really do anything, but <laughs> whatever, we'll do it. There'll be times when it's useful, I guess. Not really. <clears throat> None of these talents are going to be particular. Okay, a lot of stealth mobs. If we ever pulled right off the pet, or the pet dies, then it's useful, but... I guess it would be pretty useful to slow. Like, on a pet death. Like, we had one that elite that we just fought in the last episode. Definitely can't wait for kill shot, but we're two levels still from that. Okay, so it's definitely not that way. And we should probably just stealth, right? Really wish I had an interrupt. That's the big thing that really screws me up about the survival hunter stuff. This spec, this no spec situation with hunter would be so much more fun if they just had a couple of the spells that get blocked out by survival. Like having an interrupt especially. This class has definitely got to be one of the more interesting ones, but it just gets completely screwed by survival. Okay, let's just stealth the whole way. I just kidding, wrong way, I guess. This way. Let's see what happens. Yeah, 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 we can use this too. Perfect. So this is pretty good. Is there... I don't actually know where I'm going, to be honest. I just need to make sure that I don't come out of stealth next to a mob. This seems right. Looks like there could be a treasure here. Uh, oh, there is. It's right there. Okay. Well, let's kill the mobs. Oh, come on, man. It's weird. I didn't know traps DR'd now in PvE. That's confusing. That mob that we fought in the last episode was like the trap was heavily DR'd. I think I, I messed it up because like I reapplied it and uh, caused the issue myself. Just pick up the chest while we kill. Good enough. Arcane shot. There we go. Oh, what is that? A pole arm that I don't have access to. Or that I didn't have transmog from. That's a pretty good one there. See, this, the treasures and silithus are actually really good. And we got our brain too. Love to use a, a pole arm, honestly. But there's no way you can do this without a, a ranged weapon. It would be ridiculous. We're taking damage, but we're not actually, it's not breaking luckily. Okay, so this is where things get a little sketchy. Just fight it right here, I guess. Gonna have to clear this whole room out. And the problem for sure is that we do not have an interrupt. I know this mob does a bunch of healing and we have no way of stopping it, to my knowledge. I think it actually might put a dot up though so we could at least dispel that with the blood elf racial. But yeah, we'll definitely have a, uh, a bloodlust need here. Clear out that mob too. And then I, there's something else that we... I, I think it's just talk to that crystal. And that chest gave a ton of experience as well. Chests are so freaking valuable, man. I had started making like a compendium, like a spreadsheet of every treasure chest in Kalimdor. But I just never got through it. 
Okay, Seathun will retake this world. That's incorrect. It's lost. We got, oh god, the fear. Well, at least she's fearing the pet. But that's pretty bad, because if it aggroes something, we're in serious trouble. But we didn't lust. Well, the pet's dead. Let's throw that down. Yeah, kind of spamming the heels there, huh? Pet is not dead yet, though. Yeah, we don't have a way to stop that. We don't have a stun or anything, right? Hopefully she's got a mana bar. I don't, I can't tell. We're gonna be here a while. Hopefully nothing respawns. Eventually it'll die, but. What? Wow, that's not good. Oh my God, and I just feared my own pet. What the hell am I doing? Jesus Christ, man. And we aggroed the fucking burr somehow. How, how did that happen? Okay, I don't understand how that happened. I guess we'll kill that quick. I, I can't really tell. The mo She's not healing anymore, it seems. Need to not be mind controlled again. Can we move the pet? Why is it not moving? Move two. She's stunning it, I guess, is why. Okay, she must be out of mana. That was sketchy. Interesting piece of combat there. <laughs> that was very strange. Runic healing potion, yeah. Don't know why that's happening. Okay, so we're done with all the quests, right? Okay, let us leave. Well, we got a treasure chest and three quests done, so that's a lot of experience out of this little, little section. I'm satisfied. <sighs> Should be uh, pretty close to 41 after this. Last, ooh. Ah, uh, yep, it aggroed, I think. Don't know. Confused. I, I'm really confused. What's happened? Where's my pet? Pet's dead, I guess? Your pet is not dead. Oh, okay. I don't actually remember what pet we were using. Not that one. Dismiss. So one. Wait, is it? Yeah. Just looking strange. Okay, we'll just kill a few on the way out. No reason to just sit here and not not fight. Okay, let's uh, actually quickly do this again. Any spell that will work. You see, we're being attacked, so I don't know. Hopefully that's not gonna cause issues. Can we use? Doesn't seem to break us out. Can we use disengage too? I guess so. Seems like we could use anything. Yeah, we could use Disengage too. Wow, that's pretty powerful. It's no uh, proper stealth, I suppose, but it's quite good. It's also healing us, which is quite nice. Definitely wish I knew about this talent situation earlier. Okay, that's good enough. Let's get dismounted. Also, just do that. You can cast anything while you're mounted or while you're in that uh, camouflage. I remember having some trouble getting out of here, but I think there's a little shortcut up here. 
But maybe we did some trickery to get through there. Looks like we might be able to pull this off. Yeah, that works. That'll do it. I don't know if we even needed to do that, but for some reason I have a memory of doing that at some point on some character. Probably the outlaw rogue. I probably uh, you, I probably um, hooked grappling hooked up there. So yeah, the uh, in the description should be a list of all the leveling challenges we've done. This is going to go on the list soon. We've got to finish it, but we will do that soon. We already finished the Outlaw Rogue naked. That was like a pride and joy for me. That and the Warlock, um, the tailoring, that was awesome. Just really two fun things. We started them so long ago. This one we didn't start that long ago. I was hoping to finish it before Shadowlands came out, but didn't happen. Won't take too long to finish it. We're almost done, like I said. We just got to figure out. Oh, that didn't give anywhere near as much experience as I thought. Hmm. Well... That changes my opinion about this zone. I thought we'd be a lot closer to 45 before we left, but... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be... problem is, I don't know where to finish this. I don't have any real real place to finish it. Like, Unless we literally just do dungeons. I don't have anything that I want to do now on this character, honestly. Um, but we do have... A deserter. That's a fair amount of experience. That's pretty much it, though, I'm pretty sure, for the zone. Twilight Lexicon. That's that's the deserter guy. Let's go do that quick, because it's right over here. Oh, we're, we're well on our way, though. I think we will get honored. Definitely won't get revered. I think I should realize that I, I should have just logged on my Warlock and seen, because I'm sure I have revered or I have honored or wherever I'm at on that uh, character is where this character will get to I'm sure I don't think I did the raid once probably time too powerful it's just too hard to turn off is it <laughs> I would happily turn it on and off to do the raids but on a nomad character that's one thing that I do like about the no spec characters because you can do like a modified nomad challenge on it but I can't like, the, the hearth rule is too much of a thing. So if I ever did that, if I ever did something like that again, I'd have to find a way to incorporate a hearth. <clears throat> it's kind of, like, fair, right? If I like Maybe if I, like, bought the... I think that's a guild thing, though. You have to be in a guild for that. If there was a way to set my hearth here and have a way to port back to Orgrimmar, I guess a mage. Yeah, a mage would be the one, right? If we do ever level a mage nomad, we will be using portals because that is actually in the rules. You're only allowed to use spell stuff, the class stuff that you have. So Hunter does not have the ability to do that. But Shaman too, I think one of the rules is you can use your astral, whatever this the hearts thing is. Okay, so what was that quest? Twilight Lexicon. I think we need to do it. We still have four... We're at 4,000 rep right now. We'll see how much we get. We're definitely not getting 2,000 from three quests, though, I don't think. So we'll go turn these in and see, but I think I need to do that Twilight Lexicon quest. And that's just, like, kill elites or something? I can't remember exactly what it is, but... And then at Honored, we can buy Bramblewood boots, which we're never going to use. Spitfire gauntlets, which we are going to use, I think. I'm going to dump these green dragon skill, I think. If I can remember, let's see. I know I want the transmog. Oh, no, that's a good piece. 29, though. 11 Agi. Oh, I don't know. That's a lot of Agi lost. Actually, it probably isn't a good piece. See, the green dragon scale set. Actually, this set can be upgraded, can it? This is the set that can be upgraded, I think. Living shoulders can be upgraded too. Like what? It's so inconsistent. Green dragon. Yeah, see this can be upgraded. 
I might end up making this again then. What's the maximum? 54? Wait, what? I don't know. 47. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're going to remake. So we'll use the Blue Dragon skill set until 47, and then we'll probably remake these pieces. Because uh, we, well, we don't really. I say we still have plenty of green dragon skills. I pretty much stopped trying to get them. I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, so that gave us not much rep at all. Like, almost none. Guess that helps. Well, that gave a lot of rep, wow. That gave like 500 rep. So yeah, I definitely think we need Twilight Lexicon. Uh, this quest is like the end of the zone quest, though, so this should probably give like a thousand rep or something. But yeah, either way, we're definitely not getting 1.2 thousand experience rep. What brings you here? Not uh, even close. We still need over 500 rep, which is scary because that's a number that I don't think we're going to be getting from a single quest. Yeah, definitely no, we're not getting it, actually. Um... And that's actually it for the zone, right? A terrible purpose? Wait, what is that? I think you get both of these at once for some reason. This zone is so messed up. We have no twilight. Oh, we actually have two twilight texts as well. So we might get some of those along the way. I might just wear this hat, honestly. Nah, it takes away the hair. The hair is too big of a deal for me on this character. Okay, so if I remember correctly... Scribes, the Twilight Lexicon is such an important tool. Yeah, 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 they're elites walking around the camps. It's hard to find, honestly. Oh, no, they're not. They're not even elites. Thinking of something else, maybe. Oh, that was... Yes, I know what I'm thinking of. When I was actually doing the blacksmithing leveling challenge, I was actually trying to get exalted to craft the pieces. And I was farming texts. And that's what I was looking for. There's a Twilight Prophet, and it's an elite. And it always drops, like, ten texts or something like that. So I was just farming that every day, looking for that. But this is a lot easier, if I remember correctly. Don't remember where all four of them or all three of them will be, but can't be that hard. So it looks like there could be a chest here, and I wouldn't mind trying to find it because we have camouflage. Let's just see if it's up here. It's one of the nice things about stealth. Doesn't look like there's any. Well, there's also one on the other side. That guy's snapping for no reason. Doesn't look like there's one. It'd probably be right here or something. Okay, so now the other camp is up here, and then the other one's all the way down south. Definitely want shade skill on. Actually, like, changes the whole... Music track. I forgot how Shade Scale is so impactful. I haven't used Shade Scale at all since Shadowlands came out. Not once. Well, maybe to level, but I don't think I've done much with it. I level in the Barons every single freaking character, so. The Barons and Mop. Mop is so good for just quick leveling, though. The problem is you're not going to get any gear at all from it. What I do is just all the dailies. They give a lot of experience. And they're really, some of them are really, really easy. Like, if you could actually get the profession dailies for the, uh... Uh, this looks a little dangerous. Let's just lost. If you could actually get the profession dailies for the Order of the Cloud Serpent, they're, like, potentially, I think it's, like, five or six quests that are, like, literally no value. Like, they're no danger whatsoever. Just fish for five minutes, go apply bandages to mobs for five minutes, and, uh cook for five minutes, stuff that you'd be getting from fishing, so the only one I can't get is the archaeology one because it's a 
not possible to get archaeology at that point. You have to actually level archaeology still, which is crazy, but that's how it works. So to get mop archaeology, you would need to actually level through classic, and that's not going to happen on a new character. Which is a shame, because there's a lot of dailies. There's like, I think at least three different dailies that would pertain to archaeology in mop. Maybe more. I don't know how long it takes to level it, but they basically just gave up on the profession, which I won't say I'm surprised by, but I'm certainly not satisfied with. A lot of wasps. A lot of mobs in general. Yeah, that was the cool thing about Rogue. Like, I get a talent that makes me run faster when I'm in stealth. So it's like I don't even mount. I just literally just run around the world. It's like faster than classic run speed. Mount speed, I mean. Uh, anyway, uh, what am I looking at here? Four. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this guy's name is Exeter, if I remember correctly. I went to high school with a guy who his last name was Exeter. I always thought this was funny. I almost landed right in that. Oh, what's going on here? I just realized I don't even have war mode on. Why? I leveled this whole time without war mode on? What the hell was I doing? That's a weird decision. Okay, this guy has killed Exeter though, it looks like. Unless he's just not here right now. This guy's also leveling, it looks like. I think we don't have war, I guess there probably wouldn't be any alliance if we had war mode on. I should probably turn war mode on. When we go back to org, I should definitely turn it on for these last six or seven levels, whatever it'll be. I don't know where to look for this guy. Could have swore he was always just back here. What's this what's this guy even doing? Farming the Geolords? Unsure. There he is. I'm really surprised that I don't have war mode on. That was another thing we found a script to be able to do. Access war mode talents. Yeah, uh, we have a script to access war mode, but I don't think that's new to anyone. Um, but yeah, script to access war mode talents. And even though we have access to them, we don't have any. From what I could, I, I tested it on Paladin extensively. Like every single talent that Paladin could possibly have, I tested it. And then at BlizzCon, they announced that they're making all new ones. So I will test it again when that happens. But yeah, realistically, I think it would probably not work. I don't think there would be a single spec or class that had an access to a PvP talent. They're just way too specific. Like, I don't think there is... Like, the weird thing about them is... And maybe this is something to learn for actual talents, too. But the weird thing about this all is that... When you get a PvP talent, it, even though if it's the same talent for Ret, Pro, or Holy, it's actually a different talent. It's not like, I don't know, maybe this is the same way for PvE though. But either way, it doesn't appear to be that way for PvE. It's actually a completely different talent ID. So I had to try, like, for example, um, Disarm. Warrior, I tried Disarm. Warrior, all three specs, PvP, Talent, have Disarm, okay? Uh, but it doesn't work. None of them. I tried all three talent IDs. None of them work. 
basically the PvP situation. You can't really designate a row or a column, so you have to uh, designate a talent ID. And I don't know if there's a similar script for PvP or PvE. Uh, maybe I should look it up, because maybe it might actually be possible to get some talents that we don't have access to. I figured this rare would be here. Let's kill this thing. A lot of health. Probably a second one up here, too. A lot of times there's a rare inside, too. Ticks. Not seeing it. Oh, we're too far anyway. Can't attack while stunned. Oh, I'm like commanding the. I forgot I use a macro now, yeah. To make the pet switch targets. That's why it was uh, constantly stopping the move command before. I forgot about that. God, I forgot. Oh my god. I remember where that came into play when I was farming BWL. Oh my god. Oh man, I wonder if anybody's actually going to watch this series. That was such an interesting moment when I was farming BWL. Freaking getting farmed myself. Okay, that looks like cloth. Yep. Nothing special. Oh, what is that? It's an odd one. Oh no, that's my actual bracer. Not my bracer thing, but like my actual blood elf shit. I forgot about that. And here's another one. Do we have lust available? No. That's it. There's no other. No other rares, right? That's like two quests worth of experience right there, though. Actually, it's probably like one and a half. The rares don't give anywhere near as much as the treasures for some reason. Ah, the pet is dead. Long live the pet. I don't even need the rhythm. It's literally just gonna... Yeah, I guess I'll just kill it. Then we res. This guy we could skin, and that is a cloth belt again. Okay. And that's it. We mount up and ride back up. I think we just go right back to the Twilight Dude. On the right side of the zone. Yeah. Some Oh, we're getting experience from killing them, too. I forgot that that was a thing. Okay. So one way or the other, we can get honored today. We're going to get honored. What is that? Oh, that's weird. We're going to get honored. Then we are going to buy those three pieces or six pieces, whatever they would be. And then we are leaving the zone for good. We're not going to return here. I don't think to get revered would be worth my time. It's just too much, unfortunately. So yeah, there's the guy that you turn those uh, island quests in at. <laughs> So we're about to be 41, yep. Hope to get 42, but that's clearly not going to happen in this zone. I, I thought we'd be 43 or 44 by the time we were done this zone, but I forgot how little there was left. And obviously, you don't get much at all, so. This zone's kind of garbage. I don't know why I even came here. I guess just to get rep. It's a good zone. Also, also, also to get that scorpid leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is that scorpid? Tough Scorpid helmet. That was the thing I was trying to buy from that guy. Wait, what? Heavy Scorpid helmet. This is just a rare drop, which is apparently extremely rare. Let's see what transmogs we have on this character. I'd really, there's like a lot of helmets that I really like as male too. Damn, that's pretty cool. What is that from? Oh, Argus, LFR, though. Yeah, that's the set that Rick used forever. Oh, this is BR. Wait. Why is that here? This is the wrong direction, isn't it? That's strange. Yeah, see these kind of helmets? I just love the way this looks. It's, again, I hate to say it. It's a lot of nostalgia speaking here, but I really wish that 
you can make like a plate class wearing transmog like this. Like in classic, you'd wear mail, you know, like it was fine. And a lot of those pieces like look like what a warrior looks like to me. Like a hunter never wore that because that was too low level for a warrior or for a hunter. Hunter was wearing le leather for really long. I definitely wish there was still an option for that. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, Pilgrim's Hat. So I guess I must have a lot of those male chain link helms then. Uh, apparently there's only two. Red one. Okay. Need something? I'll pet four. Have a good one. Safe travel. Yeah, and he wants ten texts as well. Ah, yeah, but as you see, we're honored. So that's enough for the zone. Let's go turn this in. Actually, quickly before we do, we'll go to Southwind Village. We should be able to sneak right through the back here. Maybe it's not a good idea, though, because we do need to make sure we get pretty deep into this. It's going to be a little bit harder to, uh, to navigate. Then I think it might be. These guys are actually pretty difficult, too. Actually, I think it's the druids. I can't remember. I did come here to test it. And it was a mess. It's still going to be a mess. In fact, we're probably going to wipe up here. It's a lot of mobs. Where is this person? Ah, uh, yeah, on the edge there. Yeah, you see them? Well, at least we can get by all... Actually, it looks like we probably just literally... Yeah, okay, forget it. We don't even have to get... What the hell? Uh... How may I help? <laughs> that worked, at least. Okay, let's buy all these... And that is it. Unfortunately, now we have to wait a minute before we leave. Because I'm not trying to die, I don't think, anyway. Wait, what the hell did that just say? Oh, it says class can't use item for transmog, but it's talking about the actual pattern, so that's good. Cured rugged hide. How do we make those again? Honestly, I wasn't even paying attention when I was purchasing. No. Um, it's actually a lot more male than it looks like it is, but two things of leather and then four male. Oh, yeah, this guy just broke. If it's attacking the pet, it means we gotta interrupt it. Or we gotta kill it. Healing touch, yeah. What? Oh, this is why these suck, because they spawn a bug as well. I still don't understand what's going on here. South. Yeah, let's not do that. Just get far enough to mount and then we'll go. Southwind Village, I typed that in and it's some IRL place. This is probably like the fourth time I've looked this up on these <laughs> these leveling playthroughs. Uh, was once a night elf base of operations. So this was destroyed by the Karaji. War of the Shifting Sands. Is that classic or? No, that's like mad long ago, right? Yeah.
Okay. Let's turn that in and then we're done here. And then on the way out, we need to check the... Uh, that vendor. I have to go all the way back. Oh my god, it's so far. Just put two and two together. I'm not sure if we can hug the coast. Now let's just take the normal route, I guess. Wait, what am I doing? Not the right place. We're going this way. That. Oh, wow. That was actually nice. <laughs> I didn't pull that off on purpose, but. I don't give a fair amount of experience. Okay. That's it. Well, let's vendor some stuff, and then we're going to head out. You will not be missed, Saltis. Spent a lot of time here, but not not my favorite zone. Uh, right, it's downgrade, but let's vendor it. Arcane crystal. So just hang on to all this stuff, huh? Don't know where I got that. Oh, we have a lot of black dragon skills. Are we making anything with them? They're, they're kind of sitting in my inventory. Um, black dragon scale boots. We've already made those. I have those on. Yes. Breastplates. We have made that as well. Shoulders. We have not gotten those patterns, though. That's the problem. Uh, these are pieces I really wanted to make as well. The, the problem is, like, I have to queue for these things. The marshals. There's just too few of these mobs. And the captains are from the very end of the dungeon. It's just, unfortunately, it's just not enticing to me. Um, I don't I don't feel like I'm cheating myself by not doing it, but I definitely feel like it's a little... Kind of probably not what the spirit... You know, I should be trying to get them. It's just really just... I don't, I'm not trying to sit through an entire dungeon where I have no abilities that can do anything valuable just to be able to... It's just not very fun, unfortunately. Oh, anyway, speaking of, we can finally put this bracer piece on. Oh, wait, well, we didn't even need it. I forgot. Wait, no, it's still better, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. That BOE bracer is actually way worse. Well, item level-wise. Uh, I think we take Agi all day, honestly. I think Agi's our best stat. The whole situation with... Uh... Uh, what's this? The haste? Yeah, I don't think it's... I don't think it's very good. I don't think it's as, as good as I'm making it sound. I think it's just how it works when you have no spec. You don't actually generate. You don't generate a lot of resources. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Oh, we don't have to wait. Um, We have a lot of running ahead of us. So what were those pieces we just got? How do you make these cured rugged hides? Oops. Uh, deep rock salt, which we would have gotten from the raid BWL, I guess, or maybe MC, probably. Probably just buy it as well. I mean, is it even worth making these pieces? The gloves, definitely. I definitely want the transmogs. It's just so, I cannot believe, like, come on, why can they not be, this is such a basic item, right? A blue level 29, I level 29, it's got normal stats on it. Why can it not scale up? Who, whose fucking idea was this? It's like they just stopped halfway through, right? That's what it feels like. I feel like that's the only way that it could have happened. Like, why else would these, some of these items have these optional reagents and most not? There's no male belts at all, right? Oh, there is one. Wait, no, there's not. I can't remember. I think there was one, and it was some kind of really complicated option. Yeah, the heavy scorpion belt. Yeah. Can I assist you? It's still no pattern, so... I don't know. I hope that I had already gotten that pattern at some point, and I just missed it. Or just forget it, I mean. Forgot what it was, but I don't think so. 
Probably won't get that one either. Yeah, there's just like very little actual mail gear. Sure, I could make that and upgrade it, I guess. It just sucks. Like, this is all shit that was added in Cataclysm. Why is there no mail pieces from Classic? I think there was, but they removed them, yeah. The Heavy Scorpid Belt is the only one that is, is even remotely on the table. And the problem is, first of all, the problem is obviously that they're all leather. But the second problem is that any option that I would have, just any good option like that one, does not have a optional reagent. What belt am I using right now? Runic leather. Yeah, I'm just using a leather piece, yeah. Kind of fucked up. There's not really any leather gloves or any gloves in general that I want still. Tough scorpid stuff is just... So let's go. We'll check out the auction house. We're going to go to Orgrimmar. Um, I don't know where I'm going to finish this, honestly. Like, I'm done. Like, I, I don't... I hate to say it, but I just don't... I guess we can just maybe just do dungeons. Just do BRD for maybe a level or two. I don't know. I just don't really have anything else that I wanted to do on this character other than level. And I remember that's ultimately why I stopped playing it. Because I knew I wasn't going to be able to level ten times in like a, less than a week when the patch was coming out or the expansion was coming out. And I, I could, but I just didn't want to burn myself out on it kind of thing. So now I'm just picking up the pieces. But we're obviously getting the blue dragon scale belt, or uh, pants, which is like a huge milestone for the character. Regardless of where everything else is at. And then, yeah, maybe just farm more green dragon scales. Like, I'd love to get these patterns, but honestly, man, I don't think it's going to happen. I think they're super rare. Like, let's see if we can look it up. Anvil Rage Marshall. Oh, let's just look up the actual name of the pattern. Black Dragon Scale Shoulders. Apparently there could be a treasure right there. It's a weird place for a treasure. Oh, it'd be in that little thing, yeah. Not here. Of course, everything that comes up is classic. Doesn't actually matter, though. We can just change it to not classic. This is going to be a bad idea. Going to make good directional progress, but we're kind of being blocked off. Kyle is just fain, but... Clicked on the item. I should be looking at the profession page. Top by black dragon scale shoulder place. There we go. Ten percent drop rate each run. There seems to be an average of seven mobs that drop at each run. If you want all black dragon patterns, Anvil Rage Marshall. There's seven of those. Animal Rage Captain, in the very last room of the instance, you can easily get there with the Gnomish Transport at the end entrance if you're farming for the shoulders at the same time. It's faster to just keep going. I already have the other items, yeah. I 
Okay, you know what? Let's let's queue up. Let's let's queue up. All right, where is the marshals? Which one would be like the most efficient? What do I have selected already? Both of them. Ah, fuck it. Let's just queue. Who cares? Nothing else to do. We got to get experience anyway, so we're not going to be getting experience on the way back to org. Anvil Rage Marshals will start appearing as you go down the hallway. What is that? Oh, I know where these guys are. Yeah, okay. It doesn't seem like it's that rare. It's a 1.6% drop rate according to the Wowhead client. Which, I mean, that's pretty rare, but if we just did that the whole time, it wouldn't be that bad. The problem is the fucking queue. We could be here all night. This zone is pretty vibrant at night. The white sand really looks crazy. This is probably another one of those things where shade scale isn't working well because I don't think it's supposed to be this bright. It looks like it's still sunny out, doesn't it? I would say. Can I also just go hunting rares? Decent experience and also transmog. Is there chest too? I mean, chests would be the same. If there was a chest, we should pursue it. Really wish there was a way to track treasures on the map, like with Outlaw Rogue. It's quite unfortunate. Where is this one supposed to be? I think it's outside, actually. This is why I started making this compendium, because it's like, God, dude, I level way too many characters. Sand Scraper's Chest? What is this? Just free experience, basically. A little scary to get out of here. I just them out, but... Don't get dazed. One more auto attack coming. No, no, oh, fuck. What the hell? It looked like I was good. Finding shot. Good. Very good. Okay, that wasn't worth it for 2k experience. Let's go turn it in. Uh, let's turn it in. I don't think there's anything worth doing here, though. I mean, if we wanted to get experience from the zone, there's plenty of questing, but it's not. Not worth it. I've seen you around here before. Wait, what? Let's lead in somewhere else, probably. You know, we could also go to Desolus. Apparently there's a trainer there. I just don't know how the hell we're going to get all the way back to the Barrens. This is a trek. I don't even think it's possible anymore. I forget. There's a way through Dustwallow, I guess, is what we'll do. I love Thousand Needles. I really wish they didn't screw that zone up, man. I would kill. I would literally... Give me... Make me buy it. Oh, where? Make me, I'll pay another $50, another full expansion price for uh, the ability to have classic zones in BFA or in Shadowlands now. Let's see if Pet is not dead. Not yet, he's not. Happily. I will happily pay another expansion price if you just add. Oh, now he's dead. What the hell? <laughs> That's prophetic. 
And now I'm dead. But yeah, I would happily pay another uh, expansion price if they could just add that to the game. Wait, how do we... Okay, I was going to say, how do we get back into the dungeon? Alright, well this is D-block. Or what? I, I don't actually know. Better reload. Make sure we have access to everything that's going on for this. Where did he go? Just past the Grim Guzzler. Good thing the pet followed us. So this is the end. We're doing the end of the dungeon, I guess, right? Or what? Oh, wait, wait, hold on a second. I don't know what we're doing. It only says two two bosses, like what? This is probably a big waste of time. I didn't mean to do that. Cloud burst. That Azralon. <laughs> Managed to get in these groups. Look at that. Two Azralons, Quelthelis as well. Oh yeah, the pet doesn't taunt when you're in a dungeon, right? Just by default. Oh, there's the Druid. The only non uh, Azralon player. Well, we killed the boss. Yeah, I think this is actually all we're doing, right? A waste of time. Yeah, I'd imagine they would have multi-shot. If it wasn't for survival, I'd imagine I'd have an interrupt if it wasn't for survival. I'd definitely have a... Uh... Actually, no, that, that's probably it. Multi-shot would be the big one. Yeah, that's it. We're literally just pulling this stuff and that's it. It's so strange. Luz Sagrada. What's that? Holy Light? Oh, I get it. It's weird. I could have swore I did this dungeon and we did actual content in it. <laughs> Complete the Ring of Law. That's probably it. Sometimes you queue in and people actually do those bonus objectives. Mom's got a lot of health. Boss has like four times the health of this construct, and that's at 50% health. I guess we could always buy these patterns. I should just get to Oregon and see what's going on. I don't want to spend money for my actual main or something like that, but we have almost 2,000 gold. 
I don't think that would be enough to buy these patterns, so I'd imagine they'd be going for dozens. Dozens of K. Oh yeah, we could also Dispel and Rage. I forgot about that. I have a fair amount of utility spells, but nothing useful. Nothing like prominent. Nothing that I'm like, oh man, I'm glad we got that. Oh, we did get a transmog though. Oh, that's fucking awesome, actually. That's exactly, that was like a transmog that I really wanted. That's awesome. And everybody left. All right, well, that was useful. Got uh, almost no experience. So I don't think we'll be doing that again. I guess we should start selling some of this stuff, maybe? Man, I definitely don't need 200 rugged leather. That's an option, I guess. We could just sell what we don't need and maybe try to buy a pattern. I was trying to sell these items, but I, yeah, I don't think it's going to work, man. The auction house on this server is not great. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of good stuff up there, and it just never sells, so I don't think that's going to happen. I love going through this zone just because you get to hear some good music, but uh, getting navigating this water is not my favorite thing. We'll see how it goes. I think there's like a ramp on that side, right? Fireworks coming from the boat, I guess, huh? This actually does damage, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think there's any actual way to get back up to the Great Lift now. I'm not sure there's any way to get anywhere, honestly. Oh, yeah, the turtle scales. What do we do with those? Oh, they can... Oh, now that's a good investment. We can get these all the way up to... Uh, 54 item level. That would be pretty good, actually. That's probably what we should do. There's actually five items here. So we should come back and do an... Oh, that song. And I think it's like one per, isn't it? Let's maybe quickly take a detour. I don't even know where we're going, honestly. Thousand needles. I just I want to play classic so bad, but it sucks. Like, it's crazy, man. I just want to play the classic version of the game without shit. That like terrible, terrible class design and all these dumb things that like just I don't know, man. I played it. I just played it out on private servers, I guess. When it was new, it was easy because it was like you know, like I was playing it on private servers and I was like so excited because it was like the first time I was experiencing classic again in such a long time and it was like, you know, actually like engaging. But then it was like, the more I played it, the worse it got, and I was like, oh. By the time actual classic came out, I was completely burned out on it, I guess. 
And then the classic, actual classic community just completely killed it for me. I think TBC might be the answer. It's like by TBC, they've nerfed the leveling. It's a little bit more, you know, I can get through it a little bit quicker, which I know that's not really in the spirit of classic, but honestly, I just want to see the content. Not looking to play it seriously anymore. And the classes that I like to play in classic and TBC are way more fun in TBC. Yeah, it looks like it's one per. So how many do we need? It's just the best music in the game. I, I don't know what this this song is called, but makes me want to play a torn. No way up. Kind of a problem. That's the best thing about this farm. Okay, we're definitely coming back here, and this will be where we go. Like once we get to 47 or something like that, we'll come back here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin all these turtle. That would be a good set to end with. What else do we have pinned? Oh, chromatic gauntlets. Oh, that's right. We need to do BWL or lower black rock spire. I mean, let's queue for that. Actually, that would be a good investment over time. Um, and yeah, we can make those right now if we just had this spider web and dragon scale breastplate. We need two more worn dragon scales. Another transmog that I want to make. No, like, absurd underboob? I don't know what the hell that's about, you ever? I'll show you. I think we've probably showed it a thousand times in this playthrough, but... For some reason, it's like... I don't know who the fuck made these, but they're, like, perverted, basically. Well, maybe only on pieces I haven't gotten. I could have sworn there was, like, every... Yeah, this is it. Nope. Huh. Oh, that's one of them. Can't zoom in any further than that, but it's like, what? Who came up with that? Okay, anyway, let's go. Hopefully this is not going to suck. I think it's going to suck, honestly. Yeah, I, I don't think this is going to work. I think there's... I see this path into Dust Wallow. I think that's our only actual option. I would try looking it up, but I don't think there's going to be actual info on it, so let's just not even bother. I think once we get up there, though, we don't have to go that direction. I'd love to go this way, but I don't, yeah, I don't think you actually can. Well, it's fine, because we'll go through Dust Wallow, and then we'll just go through the Barrens after that. That song is just... I don't know what it is, because I never played Horde when I was, when I was young. I guess it's just private server nostalgia, like just a time when I actually enjoyed classic. It sucks to say it, but it's how it feels. Yeah, there's no actual way up. This is the only actual way up, huh? Well, whatever. That's fine. This is another great zone in Classic. Or another great part of the zone, at least. This is usually the part that I come to. Usually in Classic, I never actually spend much time in the zone other than the Salt Flats.
Okay, hopefully we're not gonna have too much trouble here. I know there's a bunch of uh, mobs up here. I remember fighting these mobs. This is actually where the naked challenge became very difficult for the first time. There was like mobs that like summoned water elementals or something. I can't remember. I just remember dying a bunch. This zone was insane for the... If you still haven't seen it, I still consider it one of the hardest things I've ever done in any video game. Still ridiculously difficult. And it was fair, too. That's why, that's why I keep going back to it. It's like the naked leveling challenge presented difficulty that could not be uh, seen anywhere else in the game, and it was actually fair. Like, it wasn't like, oh my god, this is no, you, you're never going to do this. This was like, no, I can do this. Like, I just need to play better, and I can do this. There's these treasures. It's weird. I feel like a lot of these treasures on this map are actually not in the game anymore. I actually think I deleted some, yeah. There's, like, brown treasures. Look at these ones. I did think, I do. yeah, I think I deleted. Uh, maybe not all of them. Solid chests. These are not in the game anymore. These are what were in the zone in Classic. Yeah, yeah, see all these? These are what were in the game in Classic, and they're on this list for some reason. I never got epic writing, did I? No. Um, I mean, I guess I won't. I don't know. It's probably part of the challenge. I can't remember what my philosophy was on that. I know I don't want flying. But I'm surprised I never got epic writing. Well, we're on our way at least. We could go through the barrens, or we can just take the short way. Not that much shorter, though, to be honest. Definitely a lot shorter, though. Ah, right, well, let's take a little jaunt. I'm just, in, I'm just here to chill out tonight, man. Definitely hope to have gotten more experience, but I just don't really see a path forward. I don't really know what to do to finish this character out. Other than just spam, do dungeons, I guess. I definitely should do lowers at least one more time to get the... Whatever you call it. Soak. The webs. Because that's a pattern that I definitely want to make for transmog. We only need two of those. Although maybe we can just buy them. I don't know. I'm trying to avoid buying stuff. Worn dragon scales. Well, I'm going to need to buy that, I think, because... I don't plan on doing another B BWL farm. I would just do it on my monk, but re really at that point, I only need two, <laughs> two shard or whatever, two scales. So I might as well just buy it. I'm sure I can afford it. It can't be that expensive. If these people are trolling or what there's like this forum thread talking about tanks deserve your respect saying that they're the most important role in the dungeon and it's like i literally don't care about this topic it's just stupid but then there's people who are like nope healers are the most important role and it's like okay well that's just wrong right like i mean <laughs> healers is a very tough role but 
you can't say that something other than the tank is the most important role because you can't even do the content without a tank. Like a healer cannot clear the content alone. A tank can. <laughs> a tank can actually solo. You know what I mean? Like they have the tools they need to be able to do that content with or without a healer at times. Depends on how difficult we're talking. If we're talking about normal dungeons, then maybe uh, you know. I, okay, so if we're talking about normal dungeons, then maybe all three roles can finish it on time, but finish it uh, without m much effort. But I don't think, like, even Mythic Zeros, I don't think a healer could ever solo that, right? You just don't do enough damage, typically. They'd be spending all their time healing each other. These quests are just to go back to the village, right? I feel like there was something here. Must have been on the tailoring character, because that feels like a distant memory. I say, I thought that was something that I wanted from that town. I think there was, but I probably just got it, or gave up, I guess. I don't I like identify things that I actually still want. I don't think there's a single thing. It's literally just the black rock shoulders and, and, and helm. That's or whatever it is. That's it. It's actually it. The only things I still want. I mean everything else is leather. That's so shitty. That's the worst part about this. I guess I have to hate to say it, but I probably never would have done this if I knew how much of this was leather. But it's, it was fun. I really wanted that. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna even say that. Oh yeah, here's that piece. <laughs> so ridiculous. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna say that at all because I love the um. The dragon, the dragon scale set. That's why I did this in the first place. Was that set? Because I knew I found a guy who could finally craft that for me. I was like, alright, we're doing it. Let's do it. How weird to see an alliance town. I just wish Camp T wasn't destroyed, man. I would literally take like two or three things as well. Unflood, a uh, thousand needles, like unretard this whole zone, whatever. <laughs> literally completely mess this, this zone up. Like Northern Barrens is at least all right, but this zone is just a complete joke. This part of the zone. Just give me back classic Barrens and classic thousand needles and classic stone Stonetown. That's all I want. If those three things were restored, I would probably be completely fine. Zulgarub is obviously the main thing I miss, but yeah, it's just that's a raid, you know. And I can expect them to add raids. The question is like, what would they do with loot pools? I, I that's why I don't think they'll ever do it. Somebody said who uh, has business saying, let's put it that way, um, that they won't do it because it's gonna mess up flying and stuff. Like, first of all, how would it even work? You'd have to scale to a different version of Orgrimmar or like shard to a different version of Orgrimmar. And I guess they would, I don't know how they would even handle that, but. All right. Well, we're in lowers. Harry Pooter. Okay. Uh, we got a pet out. For some reason, we do not. What are we all knowing about? I hate lowers. We got it random queue, obviously, yeah. I wonder if we could, um... I wonder if we could skin a red dragon scale off the last guy? I don't actually know. Probably not. Spell that. Let's go. Oh, that's <laughs> that's one way to do it. I just spelled it with uh, Blood Elf Rachel instead of Trank Shot. I really wish I just had an interrupt or even a stun. Stupid survival. That would be one thing if I did range survival. I wouldn't have an interrupt. I have to be in melee range to interrupt. Fair amount of leather at least too. Renew. 
Should dispel that person. It's got two buffs. Get the value. I guess my end goal with some of these characters, though, would be to actually, like, play them at max level and do stuff on them, though. I could see myself doing it on a hunter. Like, depending on how good Wild Spirits is, which I think would be very bad, actually, but... I don't even think I'm going to take Wild Spirits on this character. I'm going to try Flayed Shot first, because I know they're buffing it. And I might change it to Wild Spirits in the future, but, like, I legitimately don't think it would do anything. Faxi said that BM sucks so bad because Wild Spirits doesn't transfer well for their types of damage. And I don't actually have any AoE spells whatsoever, so... I don't actually know how it would work at all, but a two minute CD as well doesn't really feel like what the class needs. This guy's also a leather worker. I think a flayed shot 30 second CD would be way better for this. Plus it interacts with kill shot, which would probably be some of my highest damage. I, I don't know for sure, but I'm expecting kill shot to do a lot. I just don't know exact. Oh, actually. Oh, it's only 10 focus. Okay, that's huge, actually. I was going to say, if it's 40 focus as well, then it's probably just never going to get used. Uh, wait. Five fifteen compared to... That's a huge difference. Holy shit. Okay, that's actually really big. Well, the binding trap didn't work, but... Oh, accidentally feigned. We can throw a bunch of traps down. Looks like we're doing something, right? Not really. Warlock's in a similar boat. Warlock's even worse than Hunter, though. I, I can't even blame anything for Warlock. They just don't get spells. Warlock, no spec, actually has two spells that do damage. And one of them is uh, Corruption, which is a cast time. So yeah, it's the same way at max level, too. Like a Demonology Warlock would have Corruption, but it's a cast time. And it's only a non-cast if you're Affliction, which I think is... Kind of funny, uh, but yeah, it's uh, I don't, I can't imagine, I don't, I don't know how good it is. Like my pet's actual uh, DPS is like half my damage. As uh, I'm level 25 on that character, so I don't know if I'll even get that character to 50. My main goal with these no spec characters is to actually level them, um, and check check out all the talent situations. I'd love to get one of each done before 9.1. Because I worry that it's going to actually be a, a bit of an issue. Maybe they'll change it, you know? It'd just be cool to have, like, a Hall of Fame, just in case they do change it. Be like, hey, look, I got one of each of these. But, yeah, I don't know. Who am I even misdirecting? I actually don't know. I just pressed the button, but did it do anything? Probably my pet, I guess. If they just have multi-shot, single, single extra ability. I mean, I guess kill shot will help, but... Just so... It could be so much more fun. It wasn't just auto attacks. The ogre, I guess, the magus, I mean, will kick. I should lust. First boss, it'll be back up for the end. Get the blood off, or the blood uh, bloodlust off the guy. 
Healing wave, that would be the target. Guy okay, ding 25. I mean, I guess we'll probably get a decent amount of experience just because we have rested right now. We can't actually get that enrage off, I guess. Not an actual enrage, it's a frenzy, which is different. I love the twirl flip thing. Okay, we got a BOE for some reason. Don't fucking leave. I don't know why they're just standing there. Did he leave? What's he doing? He's just standing there. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, we got a new healer. That was the healer who left. Now somebody else left. The rogue. I don't know why people don't like this place. I guess it's just way longer than any other dungeon. I used the hunter's mark. You remember? I don't know how many people would remember this, but in classic, in the old days, uh, people used to uh, put a hunter's mark on the target that instead, like, of a skull. I don't know. There used to not be skull, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe it was always there and I was just a noob, but I, I swear I remember a day when you couldn't actually mark targets. The real problem with leveling these no spec characters, though, is that mastery has zero value. Uh, it's quite difficult to get mastery off all your gear. I mean, these, at this point, it's not, but once we're in Shadowlands, it, it is. Yeah, I forgot I had this. <laughs> Basically just took, like, any dragon-related items. Dragon only. That's any, Anything dragon-related we'll put on. That's what we'll do. If we get another dragon piece, but I don't think that's going to happen. My pet's dying. What's going on? I don't know. Must have had threat. Oh, it probably ran chasing that mob that we were fighting and then it just aggroed all the other stuff. And I imagine that's definitely what happened. Paolo playing Diablo again. Okay, let's kill all this stuff. This boss is actually the worst in the whole dungeon, pretty much. Can't tell who I'm misdirecting. Ah, I'm misdirecting my pet, yeah. That probably doesn't help. Not like I'm gonna actually do any damage. Binding Sean actually has a use, so oh, no. <laughs> it's funny. It's a short CD too, honestly. We don't have it up this time. So we'll just use Slow Trap and hopefully if they run, it, by the time they run it'll be back up. Mana burn. It's actually funny. It does actually reduce mana. See, look at that intangible value from that earthquake knockdown. Pretty nice. 
Oh, this tar trap lasts forever. What's it slow wise? Oh, 50. Wow, 50% 50 reduction. Jesus. Okay, I guess we're skipping this boss. Honestly, that's perfectly fine with me. Like, I really don't want to do that boss. What's next? Oop, on this stuff. Okay. Hmm, whiff. It's weird, I don't have details on it. I guess that was just part of the immersion thing that I was going for. And I can't believe how much less fun doing dungeons is without a, a, at least an interrupt. One AOE or one interrupt, I'd be fine with either. It's just so much less interesting when I'm just literally just auto attacking. I definitely want to see what it would be like with a uh, Shadowlands stuff. I'm really hoping that this actually works. I'm a little worried that it's not going to, but at this point, I don't really care, honestly. Like, if I brick the character doing that, it's fine. It's fine. You know, actually, that's what's going to... If that does happen, I'll just transfer this character into a max level character instead. My original goal was to keep it in chromie time. Uh, but if I can't get the... But I'm, I'm, I'm way too interested in seeing if you can do this or not. Uh, and I don't... I don't know. We'll see. I guess I could find out. There's probably other characters I can get there. I have, I have a druid at 46 right now. So that character can get there first, I suppose. I just gotta keep leveling it. This character is gonna take a while to finish, honestly. I had some dreams of craziness trying to finish it this weekend, but there's just no way that's gonna happen. It just it takes way too long. Actually, I don't. It doesn't really. It doesn't really. I just I can't really commit, man. I just I'm so all over the place with these challenges because what I want to do is I want to get these patterns done and stuff, but it's like I'm never gonna do. I'm not. I'm just not gonna get any value out of doing BRD, you know. So, I think we'll just finish it up. Maybe just go find a zone to, to level in. Obviously, I've already done Winter Spring, because I have this cat. I don't actually remember what zones I have leveled in. But, uh... We could have a look around. Wouldn't mind doing some BFA, actually. It would be interesting to do BFA on uh, Zoldazar on this character. Maybe we finish in Zoldazar, I don't know. It's such a good zone for Hunter. It feels like like the perfect zone for Hunter. Wait, where's the tank? That's on the GCD, huh? Exhilaration. Interesting. That is a 30% heal, though. Pretty good. I never put any enchants on or anything, right? Yeah, no. That would be against the spirit, I guess. Oh, and this gives focus too, doesn't it? Wait, no, it doesn't. What? What? Why not? It's because I have no spec, I bet. It doesn't say it gives focus. I have to look back and see. Some reason I have threat on that. Still do full damage while moving though, at least not like it's much damage, but Binding Shot. I don't think we need it. I just did, did this dungeon on my rogue the other day, that's why I was thinking about it. No spec rogue. 
Hopefully we get the two soap we need, because if not, we're definitely not going back in here. I kind of want to see if I could skin the last dude, though. Who is it? Overlord Wormthalak, yeah. I was thinking it's Dracosath, but that was uppers. That was uppers. Yeah, I mean, we've almost gained a level by just killing mobs, so I'm not sure we'll actually gain much besides that once we lose rested. Rested's probably what's carrying us. I don't think they run. These mobs don't appear to run. Let the tank line of sight. What? What do you think we're doing? What the hell are you talking about? Wow! Look at lust has been up. Wow! I should have used it on the second boss. God, this is like going to be like a 30, 40 minute dungeon, probably. Should probably just lust a random pack down here. If we ever pulled big or something, I would do it, but. I don't think anybody has access to lust in this group besides me. 38 Torn Shaman definitely doesn't have it, right? I don't know when I actually got it because it's definitely one of the later things, right? I think it was like 37 or something like that if I remember correctly. So that's the plan. Just kind of get to 47 by hook or by crook. We're going to get 42 tonight one way or the other. So we just need five levels tomorrow, or whenever I do this again. And, um... Then we'll farm out the scales that we need. That'll probably get us to 48, to be honest. Like, uh, maybe not quite, but... Just get to 48 at that point somehow. I don't remember what zones I've done, though. I think I did Feralus. And I've done... So many similar zones and so many characters on all these different leveling challenges over the last year. Why is he not being healed? Oh, the healer's offline. Okay. That's definitely why. Oh, well, the... Not gonna last forever, my friend. It was a undead priest. Undead priest is a good combo. I, I like it a lot. You collect. Wait, I could use off hands as hunters. Wow, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, another transmog. I don't think we should need much healing on this pack, do we? Cow is just lust. This guy has one health, that's not great. Just kidding. Zylo wait, isn't this the guy who left? It is. That's hilarious. That's the guy who left. What the hell? I didn't even know that could happen. 
Wow, that is ridiculous. I did not know that could happen. That is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I've done a lot of dungeons in my day and I've never seen someone leave and then end up getting back in the group afterwards. Guess it can only happen in a dungeon like this, right? Where we've been in it for like 30 minutes already. I quite like this dungeon though. I really wish Upwards was still in the game. I'd love to do that as a dungeon as well. Guys lagging or something. Okay, so we're coming up on the spider part. Also, I don't know, this was... I was doing this on the Warlock too. There's mobs down here that have Pyromancers. They have a pattern that they could drop. Another BOE. Okay, we need to make sure we get to skin these. Actually, maybe we don't need... No, 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 we don't need... Just need to loot them. I already have two, and it scares me because I think I need more than two. Like, I think I need more than one run to get two. I'm pretty sure I did this more than once. So I guess we're going to find out who is aggroing these. Oh, you never know. Maybe we get a chance at the pattern. I don't know if it's BOE, but... I was like worried about dying or something. <laughs> it's a joke, dude. Nobody's dying in here. Okay, let's cross our fingers here. Try to get these silks. Yeah, they can't be skinned, it looks like. Let's just be loop. Everybody got one, I think. Thick spider silk, is that what we need? No, we need iron web spider silk. We got two other silks though, maybe that's useful in some way. And shadow silk, what the fuck? Okay, so not good. I think we're definitely not getting it. There's only three more pulls. That's really unfortunate. As long as we get one, I guess, then we'll know. We'll just come in and get another. Probably always get one from the boss or something. Did I pull that? I think I might have pulled that by targeting it. I don't know if I did that or not. I just love seeing Hunter's Mark on a big target, though, honestly. I really wish it still did damage. Stuff like that, man. This expansion is so amazing, but it could have been even more fun for this kind of stuff. Between Searing Totem and the Mage Shields and all this other stuff that they removed, it could have been something special. Dude keeps getting stunned, so it switches targets. That's interesting. I definitely should have lost it here. Man, it's wasting time. Oh, we just got three. All right. Okay, well, we got it. Is that right? Ah, uh, yes it is. Alright, cool. So we can make those now. I'm tempted to bail, but I'm actually interested in seeing if we could skin that last guy. See if we get a red dragon scale from doing so. Probably not. Usually mobs that aren't raid boss level, for whatever reason, don't drop scales at all anymore. Regardless of if they look like a dragon. 
It's only mobs that are... Actually, that's not true, because those green dragons in the dungeon are the same type of mob as this Wormthalak dude. But we'll see. I know there's, like, a ring that's, like, dragon-themed. I think we'll just, like, pivot to that. If we ever get anything that's, like, even remotely dragon-related, I'll throw it on. Just because that's kind of our sub-theme of this character was dragon stuff. Maybe we should go do Emerald Nightmare. Is there any other, like, dragon content in the game that would be interesting? Dragon Blight, but... I do not want to do Wrath. Someday I'm going to do a full playthrough of Wrath. If you don't know me very well, I think Wrath is the worst expansion, which is uh, relatively unpopular. Um, I just don't think anything came good out of Wrath, honestly, very, very little. But one thing I do think came good out of Wrath would be the zones. The zones and the story in them is superb, actually. Among the best, certainly... Oh, oh no! <sighs> the fuck, man. Okay, anyway... Um, yeah, the story and the zones and stuff would be uh, the only bright side of Wrath for me. So I will uh, someday relive it in a full playthrough. I want to do a uh, a zone kind of... I did a bunch of videos. I think we did like four or five with Cop, maybe three or four. And... Uh... Uh, but yeah, I accidentally fell. <laughs> no big deal. But yeah, me and, me and Cop did those dungeons and, um, or don't, did those zones and did like immersive storylines. So I will definitely, uh, I'd like to do that for Wrath. Just because it's been like, yeah, a long time since I've done it. I've never ever done the zones as Alliance either, so I'd probably do it as Alliance. I don't know how, what the hell's going on now? Why can't I get up this? Anyway, I don't know if it's much different, honestly. I'm sure some zones are. Obviously, uh, Storm Peak's probably not any different at all, but... Actually, I don't know. There's those hot... No, there's definitely, like, horde-specific zones. Wow, that's a lot of leather. No, that was worth it on its own. There's scorpids here. That's that's what we're after, really. Oh, greater fire elemental. I thought we actually aggroed something. I was like, wait, we're not in BRD. Where's this fire elemental man coming from? I mean, just in case we ever need the heavy scorpid leather, I can always try to sell it too. Might have to do that. It just depends on how serious I am about finishing this, some of these patterns. I'm never going to get these patterns out in the wild. I completely gave up on that. Some of these BOE ones are never coming. Uh, even the ones in the dungeons are probably way too rare for me. So we're going to get to org tonight. Take a look at that. Definitely going to be 42 by the end of this dungeon as well. And that'll be it. I don't know. I have to, have to think about this. I plan on finishing this, but I know I can't finish it this weekend. So I don't think I'll try maybe i'll just wait i just wanted to get back to it i just want to do something man i was just kind of in the mood to do a leveling thing it just feels good to be on camera at times i don't know if that's a <laughs> that's a normal feeling but it's just like i'm kind of like uh in a weird place emotionally right now so it just feels good to kind of take my mind off everything playing wow is usually enough but not not this weekend plus con always kind of makes me a little the reality of life kind of sets in, you know, when you're watching BlizzCon. Not sure why, but it does. I think some things will run here.
down. Where are you going? Hundred and eighty five experience per and we need seven thousand, oh boy. We might not actually get it. Depends on how much these bosses give, I guess. Just lost, honestly. I'm sure it's still gonna be back up. We skipped what? At least one boss. Shadow Hunter Voskajin. Yeah, we're not really skipping anything else, it looks like, but we still got four more bosses, technically. I really want to do an enhancement, a naked leveling uh, challenge again. I was thinking about a bunch of different options. Oh, Plans Annihilator, holy shit. Wait a second, that's like super rare, isn't it? I'm uh, pretty sure, that's like extremely rare. We also just got a transmog. That's cool. Pretty sure that's ridiculously rare, maybe not though, let's see. Plans Annihilator. Not how you spell it. Uh, it's an 8% drop. Well, I would have loved to have gotten that in a blacksmith leveling challenge, but... I guess we could try to sell it. I don't think I would do a blacksmith leveling challenge on Horde anyway, so... There won't be a purpose to it. Oh, we could skin the young wolves. It's kind of grim. Barely any leather there at all. And we're taking it. It's gonna spawn the next dude now, right? It's a weird part of the dungeon right here. Are these like lore characters? Giz rule the Slavener. It's a weird name too. Slavener on the Oh, you could tame them? I don't even know how you tame mobs. You have to dismiss your pet. We got another transmog, Jesus. Yeah, that's legit good because I really wanted some of these. Probably not that one, but that's good. I have so few male transmogs, man, that's the thing. Or last time I did this on the rogue, somebody accidentally aggroed those mobs and they came running and we almost wiped. Pull all that stuff. I remember sapping one or blinding one, I guess it was. Yeah, these mobs definitely run. That's not gonna actually work. Too far. I missed all the mobs. Yeah, see, they've aggroed. I don't know how. Missed the trap as well. Doesn't actually seem like an issue though. They didn't aggro anything else. See if we can do some damage to that thing. I don't know if our pet's gonna be an issue. Yeah. As long as that thing doesn't get hung up. Flame crack, what the hell? Oh, we just knocked my pet back. Wow, that could have been really bad. 
Okay, that could have been really bad. I guess we could have skipped that, yeah. <laughs> now that I realize it, I feel stupid, but if the mobs didn't aggro it, then there's no reason we would have aggroed it. Oh, we got a ring. I think I'm putting this thing on, honestly. BOEs. Again, never expressly against... BOEs, that's part of the Nomad challenge, so any BOE I should be able to equip, technically, and I'm going to put that on. It'll make the last few levels here go a lot better. And we're basically done with the challenge, unfortunately. We're kind of in the let's finish this up stage. I love this part of the dungeon though, how there's like all the different mobs that we fought. This is a great dungeon, honestly. I wish I understood it more. Every time I do this dungeon, I always say the same thing, like, I'm gonna look into it. And I do, and it just never really yields any results. It's just not a lot of lore being in it. It's just like all based on Warcraft 2 stuff. It's a big pack. And by the way, four minutes left on Lust, so probably not going to be back up. A bit of a concern, I guess. Not really, but not well maximized. Almost done. Yeah, definitely not going to be up. I, I don't know, though. It's a pretty long fight. It might be up at the end. There's a lot of mobs. That it's 126k HP, by the way. Yeah, it's going to be like at least a two-minute fight. So it'll definitely be up for the end. <laughs> I don't really like the high mountain totems. Where they come from? Oh, we could trap them or whatever. Binding, sh look at the fucking utility, guys. How are you gonna argue with the no spec hunter, man? You really just cannot do it. Couldn't get both of them, though. 59 seconds on last. That's awesome, actually. It feels pretty good to do that. Finally, something valuable. Definitely not something you could do in Classic. Oh, I think I did. That guy's so far away. What's happened? He's been knocked on there? Wow, he didn't even have Lust up. That's crazy. Let's see if it DRs. Nope. 
strange. Ah, we got the kill shot. It's a kill shot. Okay, another BOE. Leather this time. Mark of the Dragon Lord. That's what we were looking for, that ring. I would have worn that. It's an on-use ring. That's weird. I doubt he wants it. Pretty stupid. Just a stamina ring. Is he, is he gonna give it to me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he's gonna give it to me. Look at that. All right, sweet. We got two rings. I'm putting this on. Oh yeah, we're still in combat. Let's quickly leave. <laughs> well, we got 42 at least. The boss must have given a lot. All right. That's it for dungeons. Let's head to Orgrimmar. We gotta put war mode on too. I still can't believe I forgot that. Wait, I didn't put it on. Oh yeah, because we were in combat. Okay, so we got a bunch of 71 damage. That's pretty good. Wait, why is it level 32? What the hell? What the hell? Do these not scale up? That should be way higher than that. For level four. Oh, it's because that guy is the one who got it, and he's way lower. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. What level should it have been for me? Yeah, forty-nine. That makes sense. Oh well, doesn't matter. Yeah, there could be a treasure here. I don't know where. I assume it would be in the hut. But this is another one that I'm thinking like it's actually not in the game anymore. I've never seen this treasure here. I check every time I come through this zone. Which is a lot. I do this zone all the time. But it's the name of these mob, these ones, and I have seen those ones, so I don't know. I don't think we can... This is not where we go through, is it? Oh yeah, no, it is right here. The boots hop you right across. Is this directional based? No, it just shoots you to to that location. Okay. And the pet comes like super late, doesn't it? Maybe it doesn't come at all. Oh yeah, there's that pet. <laughs> that's that's what I remember. Another treasure over here. We might as well check. At this point, we're looking for any experience we can get. Did I do this zone? Did I do the barons? No, I didn't. That's a good notice because I love the barons. So I believe this one is, it's actually like right here if I remember. So not here, it's just so hard to believe. I guess there's just only one up. I still cannot find these ones. I don't know where the hell those are supposed to be. Oh, you know what? They're definitely in Wailing Caverns, aren't they? Why the hell am I just realizing that now? They're definitely in Wailing Caverns. <laughs> so silly. I've been looking for those for months. I keep going up and up on this hill. Like, oh, they must be up there. I definitely could see me doing the Barons. That might be the next episode. One to Barons. 42 to 48 in Barons only. Just my favorite. Yeah, that, this chest is literally always up. I don't know when the last time this I came by here and this chest wasn't up. I level through this zone every character, basically, besides the mop ones. Any character that I don't feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun on combat, I do mop. Because that content is just way too fun, regardless of combat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kill shot. Oh, that's not it. Okay, what's the actual button of that one? Yeah. 
and that gave a full bar, 5.7k. That's actually not that much. That's because before they were uh, rested, affected by rested. Let's see flayed shot, or uh, let's see kill shot. I mean, I can't wait to see flayed shot, but let's see kill. Let's let's see kill shot. You gotta have a. Uh, some banked um, focus, so it's a problem. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. That should make kill times a lot quicker. And oh, we can get light leather too, maybe. It's not a bad idea. Where are those scrather oh, up there? What is it, below 20%? Yeah, so realistically, that's not gonna. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll go to the. I'm finally gonna turn this quest in. <laughs> we'll go to uh, Thunder Bluff 2 tonight, and then that'll be it for tonight. Twenty percent is pretty low. I don't think we're ever gonna get full value out of that, but okay, that should be enough. Yeah, that's enough. Twelve. Really don't need light leather for anything, obviously. So, no reason to save a slot for that, like I had been trying to do. Turtle shells should go in there. Okay, so we go to org. We gotta turn war mode on. I cannot believe I do not have war mode on. That is so bizarre. Um, and then we will do. Take the Zeppelin, I guess. What, what else were we gonna do? Oh, we got a train. That's why we came here in the first place. I knew I was gonna forget. So yeah, we're gonna we gotta train the blue dragon skill leg plates, and we're finally gonna make those. And we can craft some other stuff, I guess. Maybe on the boat, we'll craft some stuff. Actually, I think there's like a trade supply person on the boat, right? So that could be a good opportunity. Where are they? Blue dragon scale. There we go. Final transmog piece I need from that set. Nothing special. But it's it's something special. It's the only one that's actually still in the game, so I've just waited this whole time to get it. The other two are removed. Well, it's the red dragon scale plate, which is a drop from... Dracosath, and then the chromatic dragon scale stuff is all gone too. Actually, the there's only two. Wait, is that even the case? Chromatic gauntlets. There's a chromatic dragon scale that I have, but they're not actually used for anything. Let me take a look. Brilliant. Chromatic scale. I wonder, uh, this just jogs my memory on something I was talking about earlier, but like, I wonder what the reality is of soloing stuff in TBC, like classic stuff. It's probably not possible, right? I'm probably like setting myself up for disappointment there. I don't think even at 60, even like fully geared, I'd be able to solo much of classic. I know I've seen like Hobbs and shit back in the day do it as like a paladin and stuff, but. Anyway, um, yeah, there's only two items that use these, and one of them is the gauntlets that don't use them anymore <laughs> for some reason. I don't really understand that, but and the other piece is that I think I ha I think that happened while I was recording this, right? It was like a 1 million BOE piece that was been removed from the game. And the transmog is actually uh, very rare. I, it's not actually the only place you can get it, apparently. But you can only get it from somewhere that I don't think many people would have. So I do think I could have made my money back over time on that piece. 
um, but I don't I don't think it's being sold anymore. Somebody probably bought it. It would be badass to have that on this character though. But yeah, a million gold wasn't really interesting to me at the time. It's still not really. We could kill the rare. I don't think it's worth it though. There's way too many mobs here. Let's just wrap this up. It's getting pretty late. I'm pretty tired. Still got to get to Thunder Bluff too. So yeah, when we get to Org, we will make the boots. We'll make the gloves. I'm going to have to buy these and make these too. And that'll be a bunch of transmog. Oh, wait, what? This piece can actually be upgraded? Maybe that's why I never made it. Okay, I think we'll wait on that then. I have to recognize that that's the case. I don't think I even knew that, honestly. Because I'm completely shocked by that case. So I'm going to get rid of the uh, turtle scale breastplate. It's a way better piece anyway. Well, it doesn't have Agi, but secondary stats. I'm just battling whether or not that's true or not. Um... But yeah, I'm going to get rid of the breastplate. So I'll make this and then get rid of that. And then it's just going to be. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What is rank five? Oh, rugged leather, of course. Curing salt. That's expensive stuff, though. You know what we should do? Let's do this real quick. I'm going to quickly do these three quests. These are like such good experience per hour. It is unbelievable. Literally just three kill quests that you kill mobs right next to the quests. It's a really good idea to come here with Chromie time. Or uh, party sync. If you could party sync back into these quests, this is like... I don't think there would be a faster four quest like rate. Like if you could literally just level from these four quests, I think that would be the fastest way to level. Slog out in, in and out. There's no way to gain... I, w I was thinking Volpera. Does anybody know? Like, if you set your camp here, do you gain rested like you're in a city? I don't think so, though. But I was thinking about that. Like, trying to find the actual fastest... Literally log in and log right out. But these, these are insane. I don't... I guess I never came anywhere close to this zone, so I never did any of this. That quest is 700 only, obviously. But then... Once we talk to this guy, there's three quests here that are just literally kill three mobs and that's it. Full quests experience from all of them. In fact, it might even be higher than... So that's 700 free experience. 4.3k. Oh, that's actually not very much. Oh, that one was low. The other ones are... I guess it's like a variable amount I never noticed. Still very, very good experience. Probably kill multiple at once, too, if you really wanted to. AOE him down. This will actually be good. We'll get some kill shot value out of these mobs finally. See how good it goes? Eh, not even close. Finally a time where we got value out of it though. You don't even have to kill him either. You only have to get him to like 10%. This next one, this next one is actually difficult. If you were fighting it normally, I actually die to it on some characters because he does this insane enrage. I'll probably just remove it, to be honest. Lightning and water don't mix. You're right. You got it all figured out, Jizlania. It's a weird name. Must be 5%. I don't know. Actually, you do have to kill them. I don't even understand what's going on here. This is so weird. Oh, we lost here for sure. Oh, that's not the right button. Yeah, see, look at how much damage the pet's taking. Can't actually get that off, it looks like. 
The UI is never wrong, right? If it doesn't glow, it means you can't get it off, right? If that's the case. All right, so that was a free, probably 10,000 experience. Or whatever. More than that. So to 20,000. Probably about 17,000. I think it was 7,000 and then 9,000 for the other two. So that'd be about 16,000, 17,000. <clears throat> and I could always come through there and do that every day with Party Sync. Very good. Yeah, that was without. I should have probably put War Mode on first, honestly. But I don't think too good. There's another good quest there that I probably should have picked up too. It's like literally just walk around as a wolf and get full quest experience. Quests like that are absolutely invaluable because for these types of challenges, you really got to get experience where you can. Okay, we got that on. Okay, so let's quickly go train. Don't actually know where that is exactly, but can't be that hard to figure out. Oh, yeah, we needed core leather for that. Huh. Good thing I had some. I was actually thinking we didn't need any core leather. I don't actually know. Oh, no, I do. It's No, that's tailoring. Yeah, no, this was tailoring. This is leather working. What can I help you with? What can I do for you? Um, so, so. Trainer? Oh, there's a lot. To, oh my god, we're gonna spend a lot of money. Leather. Everything is leather, right? I guess I'll pick it up. Only a few on your golds. But yeah, everything's leather. Huh, <laughs> that's weird. That's a lot of. That's a, more than a few hundred. Okay, anyway, so let's vendor. Stupid egg again. Oh yeah, this Annihilator. Forgot about this. After those, I don't think we need Essence of Earth. BOE, or, well, not BOE. BOP that we got the Transmog from already. Where did we get Thick Leather from? We already have 200 thick leather, yeah. Probably should have put those uh, potions on, huh? Need to remember to actually use those. Okay, we'll save the rest right. now. Oh, we could sell that. Wait, why are we not wearing that? What the hell? I could have swore I put that on. I don't know why I still have this. Probably try to sell that. Let's go see. Okay, so first of all, making this. I love how long it takes. It's one of my favorite things about old profession stuff. Makes you feel like you're actually making something. I think it used to take even longer, actually. Also feels like there's no way you could ever make that by accident, right? Okay, so that's going on, I guess. Yeah, green dragon scale piece. That's definitely going on. We got crit, but then we lost a bunch of other shit. It's actually a pretty big downgrade. Uh, but I don't care because it's cool. 
And it's actually transmog that we needed. That's the main reason. Okay, remove favorite. Now blue dragon scale leggings. So cured. Rugged hide. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. We need to make sure we don't waste that then. I didn't realize you need that for both. Okay, so rune thread. What are you looking for? Times two. One, two. All right, here we go. Finally, the entire blue dragon scale set on after the entire playthrough. 16 episodes, however many hours. We did it. The blue dragon scales. That should be an achievement for that, honestly. Demon Forge Mail. What is that? I don't even see that. Why? I clicked it, nothing even came up. See, stuff like that, well, besides that part. <laughs> stuff like that makes me want to play a warrior, though, not like a male user. I mean, besides it being on a female. Uh, Demon Forged. What is that? Oh, I see. It's not actually part of the set. It's just a recolor, so they added it, I guess. Why is it called Demon Forge? What the hell? doesn't even nothing even about that it looks like demons or has demons in the name or anything doesn't even make sense okay um so we were gonna make there's a couple other things we were gonna do what can we buy these i want to make a couple of these while we have all the leather on us before i forget there should be yeah okay so let's buy 12 of these that takes us down to 1.6k. I'm going to make one of these at least right now. Actually, let's just... We're going to make five of them, right? One, two, three, five. Okay, that's a lot of money used, but no problem. I just love seeing these bijus in my bags, honestly. <laughs> I wish there was a blue one. There's no blue one, right? Nah. Red's pretty good. All right, so that's it for that. Done with the green dragon scale set, sadly. Those pieces we were trying to sell a long time ago. So let's quickly have a look. Um, so Fern Ignance and Blood of the Mountain as well. That's pretty valuable. I assume that was also on the auction house, and that's why I have it right now. We can go sell those. And then let's check the leather working market and see if there's anything worth buying. Patterns. Arcane crystal too. That should that was definitely on the auction house. I know a buyer when I see one. Uh oh, what? Uh What the fuck? Sure. Some idiot buys that, maybe. Uh, they probably think it's a Bijou, maybe. See if any of this stuff sells for an inordinate amount. What the hell's that? Oh, wait, what is that? Craftsman's Writ. What? Why is that selling for so much? What the hell is that? Lightning eel? What is this? This is some classic shit that's been removed, isn't it? Rune cloth boots. Yes, it's been removed. This is one of the random quests given by Dispatch Commander Mets in exchange for Arden Down Valor tokens. The awards are used to buy items, from, but they require a high amount of the insignias. But it's pointless, right? You have to make boots and give them to them, right? I definitely want to go play some TBC just to check out all this shit. I don't think anything was removed with TBC, right? Okay, um... Oh, I never put these on. 
Rugged armor kits. You drive a hard bug. Feet. Don't have it on the feet. Hands. Don't have it on the hands, obviously. And chest. Do we have it on the chest? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Two plus two armor. That is just absolutely giant, guys. No, it's not. Anyway, um, there's also core armor kits. Two dodge. Oh yeah. Let's see. So let's see what we got on the auction house. First of all, yeah, that's sold. There's a lot up there though. Don't think they're gonna sell, but you never know. Oh, that's it. I guess it's not that rare. Or it is, but it's just super easy to farm now. So I'll hang on to the lava core. I don't. I don't know if I'm ever gonna need it, but. Okay, uh, so let's see, let's see, let's see. So patterns. Trade goods, how does that work? Uh, I don't know. Oh, recipes. Leatherworking. What else? So we want to sort by skill, just to make sure. Frost Saber Tunic. Is that no longer in the game? It is still in the game, which is extremely rare. What about the actual item? What? Nobody's selling the actual item for some reason. I was hoping to see if it was worth transmogging. I'd consider buying that. That's pretty... I mean, that's that's a lot of money, but if it was selling for like 50k... Are these from Tibbs? Primus Spirestone. No. Okay, anyway, um... So back to perfect recipes. Volcanic shoulders. Pattern living leggings. I would buy that if I had a leather character. That is another one. That's a nice looking transmog, but it's also not basically not in the game anymore, right? Uh Deadwood Shaman. Yeah, it's like super rare. This guy says he got six patterns. Mighty six of these patterns from only friendly to revered. Wow, that's crazy. Anyway, um... And these are like not patterns for this expansion, basically. Green whelp armor. I already have all that, I believe. Yeah, so there's no black dragon scale. Oh, well, there's the legs. Oh, there's both pieces. They're not that expensive, but I don't. I don't know. I'd probably buy them, but just not part of this challenge. It would certainly be nice to have them. It's not even that much money. Maybe another time. I'll reconsider it. Um, but yeah, that's it. So let's, I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's go to Thunder Bluff now, and that will be where we end the session for today. I'm going to finally turn this quest in after all these, literally years later. Wait, what the hell is this? Celestial Tournament, account-wide. What the fuck? I've never seen that before. Never did the Celestial Tournament once. Mop, I wasn't really that engaged in non-PVE content. That was kind of like where, for a while there, I was like, 
literally only do top end PVE content, you idiots. Don't play the game otherwise, basically was like my mentality. And then around MOP, uh, friends of mine in the guild started like telling me about how good things were, you know? I think I'm gonna try epic writing as well. Don't know why I never got that in the first place. Probably just never came back here. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, people were like telling me how good things were about the story and like they got me really excited. It's like I read the book, the War Crimes book. It's like the first time I ever got into the lore after uh, Warcraft 3, basically. I was like really into it in Warcraft 3. But that was pretty much the end of it. Oh, we got Eagle Eye still. Oh, an aspect of the Cheetah rank 2. There's still some stuff to get. But that's it. 48. Is the end. This is the end. Allowed your feet and count to ten. Here my who and then this is the end. Oh, we gotta wait for this boat. Always sucks. Read some of these comments. Appreciate the Q&A review. Some of these questions were really inappropriate. Didn't make any sense, but that is to be expected. Yeah, you are right. But I wish it wasn't. Because it probably makes real questions a lot less likely to be answered. I did a video on Q&A stuff from BlizzCon. You probably... Not saying there's any time relevant to that, but uh, about the Varian in Shadowlands question. Varian can't be in Shadowlands because his soul got destroyed by Fel. None being destroyed by the Legion's Fel existence as souls uh, exist as souls anymore. Oh well. Wow. Oh wow! Didn't know that. That is sad. Wow. Love the content as always. Thanks. Thanks for saying so. Okay, here is one of the true treats. In fact, this boat completely changed the course of one of the leveling challenges. When I did... Um, oh, wait. Shit. We'll just do it in Thunder Bluff. I was going to look for one more thing on the auctions. Anyway, when I did the Warlock Nomad challenge, I came on this boat for some reason. I don't even know why. And I was like, oh, wait. I forgot there's a Zeppelin here. And I took it to the Thunder Bluff. And as I did, I'm like, I'm not going to do this anymore. Instead... I started a new challenge that just stopped really quickly, but it was um, one to, well, it was going to be one to max, whatever max would have been, Duratar or uh, Mulgore only. And the way I was going to do that was basically just party sync and do Mulgore. It was like a 45 minute thing, but I was going to do it every day until I finally hit max level. I guess that did not happen. I <laughs> guess why well, that did not happen, yeah. Um, pretty ridiculous idea, honestly, but... Isn't there a trade good vendor? Yeah, that's trade goods. Uh, so, I was going to make this now. Before I forget, I need two more worn dragon scales. They can't be that much money. Probably buy three just to keep them in our bags. A slot there just in case. But that is definitely... Um, yeah, we'll make that real quick. Make it at rank five or whatever you'd call it. See what the difference is from the base version. It absorbs 21 magical damage last two minutes. Uh, I don't know what that would be like, but it's got to be at least maybe 40 or 50 or something. Okay, what are we doing down here? We gotta, we gotta go top side. This is like literally one of my favorite things in the whole game right now. Definitely gotta have shade skill on. I just love the barons, man. I really wish they didn't ruin this whole part of the zone. I said, give me... The, the weirdest thing about strength... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What the hell? Why did that just happen? I'm gonna be off the boat now, aren't I? It's like there's an error because it says no zone.
Oh, okay, I'm selling it. Anyway, um, there's so little stuff in the game like this anymore. Where you could actually like enjoy traveling along the world without actually traveling it. Like, I mean, flight paths and stuff still, but. I probably could aggro that. But anyway, I was talking about uh, Stranglethorn. Or no, uh, Stone Tower Mountain. Stone Tower Mountain has like one of the most important cities in the game in it. And it's literally not used. I guess I went through here at some point. Sun Rock Retreat, actually not used. Like what? It's like actually completely pointless now. What the fuck happened here? There used to what is going on? There used to be like a ton of uh quests. And they just don't exist anymore. I think they just got rid of every single one of them. And the town itself is useless now. I might not be making it to Thunder Bluff. I don't know what's happening here. It's like every time I switch zones, it DCs me, maybe. Uh, Sun Rock Retreat, though. Let's see. Well, we're in Mulgore now. That's the last zone we need to cross over. Yeah, once a major horde questing hub for Stone Talon Mountain, Sun Rock Retreat is no longer even visited by players for any purpose other than exploring the zone. How stupid is that? I don't I don't get it. I mean, that's the dumbest decision I've ever seen. I guess they're trying to turn the zone into like a war zone, like kind of like Ashenvale, but it's like, that's not what it is. What about classic version of it? I wouldn't mind seeing the quests. I just love Horde. I just love Torrin and stuff. Alright, so let's see where we turn this in. I think it's up on this area. Now we'll quickly go to the auction house. Actually, let's just do that first. Probably rare to see another player in Thunder Bluff nowadays. Wait, why is War Mode not on? What? Is that because I'm in a major city? Uh, anyway. Oh my, what? Okay, forget it. Can't, I could buy one, but not, not even buy two, so that's not going to help. Lunar Festival is over, isn't it? Yeah, it's been over a couple days now. A nice one. I missed the uh, one crown, but I got three of those head pieces, those transmogs that can be worn all year round now. Well met. Oh, these are very nice pieces. They'll make fine leather goods. Take this in trade. Goodbye. Quests like that are they're just not in the game anymore. I'm surprised. I, I'd love to make a list of every quest like that that's still in the game, right? Because it's so unique. Like, quests that are only contained in a city. They don't exist anymore. Well, that's pretty much it. Let's say we vendored two, uh, we failed to vendor two items, it looks like. Can't believe how expensive these are. Well, we might make some purchases if I can remember. I'll just buy them on my main and send them over because it's not really going to affect the challenge at all. But I would like to have these pieces one way or the other. I can't even make this right now, and I really don't really don't want to run. I don't know. Maybe I'll just run BWL one more time and just get them, but it's only a couple thousand gold. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll be back in some time. I don't know when, but this is good. I'm enjoying it, and I definitely want to do 
Um, definitely would like to do more of this. So we'll see. Might pivot for a bit uh, IRL, but we'll finish this at some point. We only need a few levels left. We have 42. We need basically five levels. Then at least we know what we're doing. We're going to go to uh, farm those turtles, make all that gear, and move on. Get ready to move on to our end point. So whenever we get a... Basically, 48 would be the end point if we could get there. But I'd imagine we'd get to 49 just because that first, like, uh, doing um, the maw, it takes, like, a full, pretty much gives, like, a full level. So thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one.